Hello and welcome. I'm Coach Christian and I help extremely stressed people to deal with their stress by observing it for themselves. Welcome to yet another video. Every single day I publish a video that's designed to provide you with tools that you can use to deal with your stress right now or stress that might arise in the future. All right, let's now go into the question of the day. And it's as follows. Coach Christian, how do I deal with manipulative people? Coach Christian, how do I deal with manipulative people? This is the first thing to realize. You are also a manipulative person. Okay, it's not like you're the good one and everybody else is manipulative. It's kind of it's kind of like the way people talk. Uh, it's weird stuff happening in the society. Someone says, "Oh, all those people are selfish," but I I'm not selfish. All those people are bad. I'm the only good one. Right? So this is not looking at life correctly. What does it mean to manipulate? It just means that you have a certain objective and then you take actions that help you to achieve that objective. That's manipulation, isn't it? So for instance, if I want to score a goal in football, right? Or soccer, Americans call it. So let's say, let's just use soccer. So if I want to score a goal in soccer, it's important for me to manipulate my body, move it in a certain way, breathe in a certain way. Uh, I need to fake defenders in a certain way in order to kick the ball and score a goal. That is also, that is manipulation, isn't it? It's just I have a goal and I orchestrate events and circumstances and objects in order for me to achieve that goal. Every single human being does that. Okay, so let's say, I mean, when you move your hand to scratch an itch on your nose, your desire is to have a nose that's not itching. You've manipulated your finger in order to scratch your nose. That's what manipulation is. So if you look at it, every human being is manipulative. Typically, uh if you lie to people, deceive them, trick them uh, in order to achieve your goal, uh, you think of yourself as cunning and smart. But if somebody else does it to you, they're manipulative. Right? This is not <laughs> you're not playing fair, man. Uh, it's it's one of these double standards. I mean, if you're a parent and you have kids, of course you know how manipulative you are, right? You want your kids to go to bed at 8 p.m. so that you can have time to rest and maybe have some sex with your with your with your husband or boyfriend, right? Uh, instead of just you're not just going to be forthcoming and tell the kids what you want. Instead, you uh, use all sorts of things to manipulate them, right? You can offer them a reward if you go to bed by 8 tomorrow. I'll buy you ice cream. Right? But when you do it, of course, it's not manipulation. You're just being clever. You're being strategic, right? But uh, if somebody else does that to you, right? Uh, let's say your kid pretends to be really sad uh, so that you can feel guilty and then later they ask you for money. They're manipulative, but you're not. So the first thing to realize is it's very pro whenever you put yourself on a pedestal, Whenever you put yourself above other human beings and think they're bad and I'm good, already you have a distorted view of reality. And in order to act intelligently, in order to make the best decisions, in order to accomplish your goals, it is important for you to deal with reality as it is. Okay? So if you say that you're not manipulative, but everybody else is, you're already not looking at things as they are. As a result, you're not able to make uh, intelligent decisions. 
So you're asking me, how do I deal with manipulative people? The first thing to realize is that you're no better than them. You're manipulative also. That's the first observation. Have you made that observation? Maybe I'm just uh, making things up, right? So in the comment section, let me know. Let me know whether you're manipulative or not. Have you observed that you're as manipulative as everybody else? Okay. That's the first realization. And then the other thing is like, someone's desires can be at odds with your own desires right so for instance i don't know let's let's look for an example that's uh okay let, let, let's let's use a simple one that's uh, that's probably more likely happens you want to become an engineer okay but your father wants you to become a doctor okay so of course, since your father wants you to become a doctor, he's going to he's going to make you feel bad, tell you no, you can't really make it as an engineer. Oh, in our family everybody's a doctor. Um, you're not thinking very intelligently. Engineering needs someone to be very good at math. You aren't that great at math. Or the parent says, "Look, I sacrificed everything." The father says, "I sacrificed everything in order for you to become a doctor. Don't be a disappointment to me." All of this is obviously manipulation, right? If your father is like most fathers, he'll never agree, but it's manipulation, okay? So let's say you notice that your father is being manipulative in that way. Well, just note, it's, it's really, all you got to do, I mean, to, I can't tell you how to respond because every, every form of manipulation is different, isn't it? But the first thing to realize is, to first of all see if you can figure out what goals the person has what is their desire my father wants me to become a doctor once you understand their motive it's it's a lot easier to understand their behavior right now i understand why he's making me feel guilty because he wants me to feel bad abandon my career and become a doctor like he always wanted right so you look at them as they are not if you think yourself my father is evil Already you have a distorted view of life, right? Because he's, he's evil because he's trying to orchestrate events to achieve his goal. You're no better than him, right? So first you see that. You just look at his behavior as it is. It's neither good nor bad, right? It's, you're only saying it's bad or evil because his desires are not aligned with yours. So if, if he also wanted you to become an engineer, now there would be no problem. He'd no longer be manipulative. Now you'd be collaborating to help you get to that goal, right? So the reason you're saying is evil is because his desires are not your desires. He's not behaving the way you want him to behave. You'd rather he support you in your engineering career, but the reality is he's, support, he, he's really interested in turning you into a doctor. Just face the reality. It's neither good or bad. It's important to look at things as they are. If you're dealing with highly, pol in, in, if you're in a situation that has a lot of politics going on, if you're in a situation with a lot of manipulative people, uh, <laughs> if you, just look, if you're in a community, if you're interacting with human beings, okay, in order to be able to get the most out of them, in order to make intelligent decisions, it's important for you to see them as they are. No better than they are, no worse than they are. If you think of them as evil, you're already lost. You're seeing them worse than they are. Just look at the situation as it is. Understand what are the objectives of this person, what uh, th their behavior, how does their behavior take them towards their goal? Um, and then just the, the mere observation, the mere observation of their, of their goals and their behavior alone will tell you how to deal with them, okay? So it might be the case if you maybe you have like, a, if, if it's in the case of the parent who wants to turn you into a doctor, it might be the case that maybe... They are very hard-headed type of parent, which means uh, <laughs> hard-headed, right? Which means that they're the sort of person that's not going to change their mind, right? It's like either you become the doctor they want you to be, or they'll never really be okay with you. Once you understand that, you can distance yourself, or you can accept the fact that there will always be a fight over the fact that I became an engineer instead of becoming a doctor, right? Or you could observe. Uh, your father's behavior and realize that um, the only reason he's saying that you become a doctor is because um, 
I don't know, maybe he feels that doctors make more money than engineers. Right? If you understand his behavior and look at it objectively, then it might be as easy as showing him like the salaries of, let's say, engineers, and that you can make way more money than, than, than a doctor, for instance, as an engineer. And if really that's his motivation, then, you know, uh, you can resolve the situation that way. I obviously don't know what your situation is. That's why I can't tell you what to do. But the key is to observe. Observe the person the way they are. Don't label them as evil. Don't label yourself as good. Because now your view of reality is distorted and you're going to make dumb decisions. All right, so I don't know if this video was useful to you or not. Uh, uh, if it was useful to you, please give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button and hit the bell notification. Ding, 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 ding. This will notify you whenever I publish a new video. Like I said, I publish these videos every single day. And they are designed to help you deal with a stressful situation in your life. In particular, if you have a comment or a question, please add it in the comment section below in this video. This will ensure that uh, I may actually answer your question in a forthcoming video. I'm also interested in knowing what you're thinking. So that I can make future videos, so the future videos that I make are specifically designed to meet your needs. Now, I've made many videos similar to this about looking at reality, about observing things as they are, uh, about dealing with difficult people, right? difficult, manipulative people. So if you want to have access to those, uh, just again, just go in the description of this video. And uh, really what's going to happen is I'm going to add some video resources of more videos that I believe uh, are useful to you, will be able to help you uh, learn how to deal with difficult people, learn how to deal with yourself. And if you're interested in this idea of observing the problem, right, like how observing people who are trying to manipulate you, okay, observing difficult people. If you, if you want to learn more about this this kind of thing, just go again in the description of this video and click on something called, there's a link called the the Observe Approach. It's in the description. If you click on that link, you'll get free and instant access to a simple but very powerful method that you can use to observe any stressful situation. Obviously, uh, this includes uh, people that you've judged to be manipulative, uh, difficult people, etc. Okay. So otherwise, look, thank you very much for watching this video, and I hope to catch you on the next one. Bye.